Hey everybody, welcome to Burra Tech. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about Unreal Engine's MetaHuman. All right, welcome back. For this video, I wanna make sure you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. So if you haven't seen Unreal's new MetaHuman, you should definitely take a look. It's absolutely amazing. If you look at what they're actually doing, it's incredible. Now, what is MetaHuman? Well, MetaHuman is this browser-based, and that's crazy that it's browser-based. I'll talk more about that in a minute. But it's a browser-based tool to make digital humans. Now, this is something that's really hard to do within the game development sphere and the reason why it's so hard is that making humans the clothes the hair basically the everything that it takes to make a human look realistic is painstakingly hard now I remember 12 plus years ago when I started into 3d game development that it was almost impossible to make good humans because it was incredibly hard and I really really wanted something like MetaHuman to exist there was something called make human but it really wasn't that good and pairing that with UDK at the time was very difficult now MetaHuman is absolutely amazing it is a amazing tool and I can't wait to get my hands on it now if you look at some of the detail for example some of the wrinkles the hair the everything that there is about MetaHuman it is incredible I think it's actually a very large step forward but let's talk about one feature that a lot of people are missing out it's supposed to be browser based browser based browser based that means that you can use it within a browser. Now, typically game development and specifically 3D game development has been very difficult to do within a browser. But as time moves forward, the browser technology gets better and better. Now, I've always liked the idea of HTML5, but the powers that be don't tend to like it as much. Specifically, Apple really doesn't like HTML5. And eventually, I think that with all the antitrust suits against the App Store, Apple's gonna have to concede to more web-based applications. And the reason is, is that once you deploy something to the web, it literally halves the time by a huge factor to actually make it come out. So the fact that you can use MetaHuman in the browser and then import it to the Unreal Engine is absolutely amazing. And I'm really excited to see where this goes. All right, so that concludes this video. I wanna know your thoughts. Have you taken a look at the trailer for Make Human? What do you think? Is it getting too realistic? I wanna know your comments down below. And remember that this channel is new Patreon and said we sell our digital products down below. The more we get from the content that you buy below, the more content we can make, specifically the free content on this channel. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Math Interactive's huge library of content. We have a monthly and yearly option. It really does help us out when you subscribe. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every month. With your help, we can become the best e-learning company out there, and all it takes to do is subscribe to our huge library of content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video!